I'm put back on my Mimus. So, oh no, it's missing again. <gasps> Swear. Swear. Swear, I just got these last week. Peeps, guess what today is? Fashion Friday. Yes. <laughs> Look at this shirt. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> I wore this to the gym this morning. I think they thought, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Screw them. I don't care. Anyways, some of you have been saying, oh my God, you keep showing us the same purses. Why don't you get some new stuff? First of all, guys, let me explain collections first. When you have a collection, you don't just get rid of it and get new just to keep buying new. Collections are collections for a reason. You buy them for a reason. Usually there's a story behind it and you add to your collection. So some of you, and we're talking about the haters out there, some of you that keep going, oh, I keep seeing the same Hermes, all right? Oh, I keep seeing the same purses. That's because sometimes when we're in the closet and we're filming, you're gonna see some of the same stuff because I'm not getting rid of it. Some of that stuff's been with me for 30 plus years. So, guess what? You're going to still see some of them. You know, it's just like my artwork in my house. I don't just go take a piece of artwork down and get rid of it because you guys are tired of seeing it. So anyways, we have been shopping these last few months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I haven't really been revealing what I pick up here and there and everywhere. And so today we thought we would kind of bring out and show you guys some of the stuff that we have. I say we like you've been helping me. I know. Me. <laughs> I'm Fab's like, uh, I didn't get to go on that trip. <laughs> so I want to be able to show you some of the stuff that I have been purchasing over the past, I don't know, three to six months? Yeah. That I haven't really revealed to you guys. So you saw a lot of boxes a while back in that mm -hmm. photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this is some of the stuff that was in those boxes. So um, where do we want to begin, Fab? So you guys are always seeing me in my Gucci tracksuit, right? Well, I got tired of never having something that matched <laughs> so i went and got my matching gucci shoes so that i always look on point <laughs> they match perfectly perfect perfect thank you gucci then i've been seeing these gucci sunglasses i was dying that i didn't have them fab died when i showed him that i got them <laughs> literally a gag so Yes, the new Gucci is, oh Lord have mercy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Wow. Aren't they just everything? Mmm, <laughs> yes. Can somebody say sparkle? Mmm. So, you know how, how I like bling? I'm always wearing black. It's just to die for. Had to have it. So, we added that to our collection. And of course, who can not want fanny packs. You know, I don't wear fanny packs. You know I don't, Fab. You don't. Um, but I couldn't help but get this one. It's a Chanel fanny pack. I don't wear them here, but how I do like to wear them is like this. Yeah. So like if I'm traveling and I don't want to carry a big purse, if I'm sightseeing, I throw everything in something like this and I just, I sling it over my shoulder. That's how I do it. Now, the other Chanel fanny pack that I got, <clears throat> Once again, it's supposed to be a fanny pack, but I don't like fanny packs. And I know they're back in style, but I just don't like them. And I like the fact that it's clear in the front, so you can see what you're putting here. And it's two different compartments. The really big compartment, then it's the little skinny compartment in the back. But I have the big tote bag that matches this, and I have the carry clutch that matches it. So love, love, love both of them. And like I said, I don't wear them as clutches. I like to just throw them over my shoulder. You know, kind of like I do that Gucci. Yeah, I like the way you wear them. Like that, you know? It's just fun, fabulous, easy. So, those are a couple other items I got. Of course, when I fell in love, when I saw this little baby, Louie, I had to have it. Like, I don't have anything like it. I don't. And it's so freaking cute. You don't have to carry it with the handle, you know? I mean, if you want to just look like you're just somebody <laughs> but it's amazing it's just to die for it's so so freaking cute so
So cute. But you can carry it two different ways. Put it on your shoulder. Had to have it. Had to have it. And look at my Dior bag. Yay. My new tote. Lord have mercy, guys. And I love this color, especially for fall. And it's something different for you, too. Like, you don't have a yeah, lot of that color. Yeah. It's not an Hermes. It's not a Louis. You know, it's, it's a Dior. And I love it. And it's so super light. It's amazing. But also, a while back, I had gotten the Chanel tote. And I didn't even show it to you guys. And guess what? I've worn it one time. <laughs> so, I was looking at it today going, you know what? I really need to get this thing down. And because it's a good color for spring. Very good color for spring. Hold off for this one for the fall. But really get this one out and start carrying it for spring. Because oh, it's, yeah. the seafoam green is just a, an amazing, amazing color. Amazing. So, I hadn't quite shown this, this one to you guys yet either. <clears throat> so, then look at the spaceship. <laughs> O-M-G. Like, really? <laughs> I can just see me right now with attitude. Standing in line. Mm -hmm. Swinging the bad boy, swing it around. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it, carry it. I made sure my cell phone fit in it, but really, when do you ever put your phone away? Never. I'm always talking on it, I'm always taking pictures, you know. But I like unusual things. I haven't seen anybody carrying this yet. Put your comments below if you've seen anybody with this purse yet. I, I don't think no so. One. It, it's brand new. So, love it. Love it, love it, love it. But at the same time, I had to... Now, my buddy Rich Lux has been carrying his bad boy for a while now. And I kept staring at his, and I kept saying, you know what? I need to get me one. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. So, Rich Lux... We are now twinning. <laughs> so next time we're Chalex and I film together or hang out together, hopefully both of us will be carrying our, our uh, backpacks. And the other day he showed on, I think it was on Instagram, that he was at the LV store getting his uh, thing replaced because he'd lost one of his straps. So, yay, Rich Lux and I are twinning now. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I didn't just go buy all this stuff yesterday. This has been over the last three to six months, guys. So don't just think I just did this yesterday or this week or whatever. While I was getting the backpack, I had to get this one too. <laughs> now mind you, I have one a lot like this, but it has the old braided mm -hmm. handle. This is the new one, the new and improved. Look at this handle, guys. <sighs> baby soft, like a baby butt. Oh my God, this is to die for. Yes, it's already full of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I already started carrying it yesterday to die for. Love, love, love this new braid. Oh my God, oh my God. While I was at it, I had to get these Gucci's. You know, a girl's gotta have some sparkle. <laughs> and those sparkle. <laughs> oh my God. And I love, look at the back of them. Yes. I know, When I remember when I was in Spain, no, I was in uh, Milan, Italy, and I got my Mimus right there. Mm -hmm. My husband's like, why do you have to have the sparkles? Why do you have to have the little diamond thing. So I'm like, because I do. <laughs> it's Teresa Romer. <laughs> I can't wait to wear these. Like so fun. Sparkle. Like, right? And I'm not a flats girl very much, but lately I've really been getting into some flats. I really have been. So y'all have been seeing me wear these. These are Naked Wolf, guys. If you ever want a platform sneaker, you got to check out Naked Wolf. These are to die for. And I know Rich Lux is loving these. You know Rich Lux love. <laughs> he loves platforms anyways, but these are to die for, guys. They're not actually anything good to work out in. They're more for a fashion statement. Like, I tried to work out one day in them. Oh my God. They don't bend because they're, they're a platform. Right. So you know how when you walk your tennis shoe yeah. bends? These don't bend. <laughs> so they're not a good shoe to walk in. Uh, you know, you, uh, I think you could work out in them as long as you did your upper body. <laughs> <laughs> but try not to do legs, right? Then, forever and ever and ever, I had these on order. And aren't they to die for? These are my new watch cases. So y'all know I have watch collections. Ah! So I'm retiring the old ones to the upstairs here. And we are now going to have the new Supreme watch cases. I'm so freaking excited, guys. Like, you know I have a huge Supreme collection going on downstairs. Yes. I've got the duffel bag. The backpack, what else do you see down there? The slides, the wallet, 
and the I I don't cut, yeah it's a cross body. I'm just gonna say it's not a it's not a fanny. And then I had to pick up the the Supreme belt at the same time. Yes. I don't know what I'm gonna wear to that wear wear a red belt, but I don't care. <laughs> I, I had to have it. You know I'm expanding my Supreme collection. And then this bad boy has been on my wish list forever. I ordered it a year ago. Okay, look at this, guys. Yes, look at this bad boy. You see it? Wow. Mm-hmm. You know why I like it so much? Why? Look at look at the rainbow colors, right? What's that remind you? LBGTQ. Yes, you know? the gays. Yes. Like, isn't that just beautiful? It's so fucking beautiful. I mean, it's to die for. It's to die for. I cannot wait to wear it. And you had to wait a year? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Worth the wait. It's worth the wait, guys. It's always worth the wait. Then, you know how I love sex. <laughs> ah, I thought these, these blinged out handcuffs <laughs> so no they're not for sex <laughs> <laughs> they're for fashion but how cool is it that you're wearing handcuffs on your wrist oh, they're so and they're so cool. blinged out right i'm just like these are to die for like i'm loving them my husband saw them and he's like are you using those on me tonight <laughs> <laughs> i was like maybe if you're not good <laughs> but i just love it guys blinged out handcuffs like who would have ever thought and they make amazing amazing bracelets then i don't know can you come over here fab yeah. so you know me and jewelry when i find something i like you know when it comes to your cartier bracelets you know you can't have just one you have to have all three colors right yeah. <laughs> you have to have the gold the rose gold and the silver can't, right can't relate but yes <laughs> you can't really so every time i find a bracelet that i like they always come in threes, so I always have to get them. Look at this one, how cute. You unscrew it, you pull it out, you put your wrist in, and then you screw it back in. Like that. You know how the Cartiers, you have to oh, that's cool. screw it together? So I couldn't just have one gold bracelet, right? Right, that'd be so boring. So boring, <laughs> especially <laughs> in my world. So I had to get all three colors. And so I, every time I find a bracelet I like, and I realize that they have it in multiple colors, I like to get all three, you know, the gold, silver, and the rose gold. So whether it be, look at these, look at these beauties. Oh my God, I'm so excited to wear these. One, two, three, look at that. Yes, yes. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Nice. Yes. And these are not Sam Moon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. We didn't go to Sam Moon for any of this, honey. Look at these. Aren't they just fun? So dope. These are like, once again, I had to get all three colors. These are like when you want to be a bad boy. Oh, yeah. Bad girl. And you're out at the club. You got a weapon on your wrist, right? Hey. Don't screw with me. Bam! <laughs> with your wrist. No, take somebody's eyeball out. <laughs> and then you all saw that I got these amazing slides made for me. How cute was that? I love them. Um... One, one of my fans made these for me. And look how they sparkle. So cute. So cute. i got to get a pair made for my daughter, I think. So cute. Right? And yes, I got my stone put back on my Mimus. So, oh no, it's missing again. Swear. Swear. You just got them fixed. Swear, I just got these last week. Look. Oh, is it the same one too? That looks like the same one. It was on that foot. <gasps> Boy. Wow. Is Mimu going to hear it from me now? Look at that. It's already missing. I just got these back. Remember, Fab? You just got them back. Remember, Fab? You were supposed to go pick it up for me at the mall. Yes. They wouldn't relinquish them to you without my photo ID, blah, blah, exactly. blah, blah, blah. I texted them and chewed their ass. Remember? Yes. Now, look. That is horrible. I wore them one time to the gym. 
and it wasn't leg day it was like arm day yeah look wow same thing Perfect. i am taking a picture of this today and sending it to that damn clerk at Mimu in the mall we didn't even know about this i just saw it omg you know what they should refund me and take their stupid shoes back this is ridiculous seriously because all they're giving you with those shoes is problems i wore them one time remember i wore them home from milan italy and when I got home, it was, this one was missing. I took it to the store. You had to pay to have it fixed, even though it was under warranty, like $35, no big deal. But still, we just got these. They just shipped them to me last Friday, remember? I've worn them once. I'm pissed, I'm pissed. So here, here's another thing for you guys. Some of you shop, say at Walmart or, or Kohl's or Target, I don't care. And you bitch that something is cheaply made and falls apart, right? This goes to show you guys, you can buy luxury items and shit still falls apart. Mm -hmm. So, we all love things that are made good. But I'm just saying, everybody bitches about how when they spend less money, oh, I don't like, oh, it wasn't properly made. or I mean, even my fitness wear line and my clothing line, I had to make sure my stuff was was put together good because people really do look at how well stuff's made and sometimes people think oh it's it's because it's so cheap that's why it fell apart i'm here to show you right now yeah these are mew mew they these are mew mew these are mew mew this this should not be happening guys so even luxury stuff can have its fault so anyways guys i just hope that you've enjoyed today because I've kind of been holding out on you guys. We've been busy filming so much other stuff that I haven't really taken the time to go, oh my gosh, you know, these guys have been wanting to see some of the stuff I've been buying over the last three to six months. I really should like show you guys. So anyways, we thought we'd do a small gathering of the stuff that I've been buying this past six months or so. Maybe it's been almost nine months. I can't remember. But some of the stuff's been on order and hasn't come in. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. It's called a fashion haul, <laughs> but it wasn't in one trip. It was over various, various months. But um, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed watching this haul so that you can kind of see what we've been gathering more of in the closet. And uh, keep subscribing. Keep telling your friends about us because we're growing. We're growing crazy, and it's amazing, and I love you guys for it. So with that side said... With that said, <laughs> get out there, find me, tell your friends about me. We are on a mission, right, Fab? We are yes. on a mission. We want to be at 200,000 by the end of the year. So we're, we're closing in. We're closing in on 100,000. So anyways, guys, with that said, hope you have a fantastic weekend, and we'll catch you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>